thanks for watching and here are three really cool applications of Laplace's equation which is once again delta u equals zero which is uxx plus uyy equals zero and in R2. The first application has to do with temperature so it turns out the solutions of Laplace's equation give you the temperature of a metal plate after a long time. So temperature. So once again, the situation is as follows. If, let's say, you put a cake in the oven, you take it out and wait two hours or so until the temperature stabilized, then to figure out the temperature of a cake, you just need to solve Laplace's equation. So in this case, u of xy is the temperature of the metal plate plate at x comma y, but once again, after a very long, long time. long time. In fact, you can see this from the derivation of Laplace's equation that I talked about in the previous video. The second application is also really cool because literally your phones work because of Laplace's equation. So the second application is an image processing. because Laplace's equation literally helps make blurry pictures much, much clearer. So the situation is as follows. Suppose you start with a picture that's very blurry or pixelated. So blurry or pixelated picture. Picture, so think when you use, for instance, Microsoft Paint and you just zoom in a lot, then you see lots of pixels, then Laplace's equation actually helps us to make that picture way more sharp. So sharp. Technically not Laplace's equation, but it's companion Poisson's equation. And in particular, it doesn't just work for phones, but also literally all the MRIs that you take are based on Laplace's equation. So it's also used for medical imaging. So MRIs. Now, the last application is my favorite one because it turns out there's a surprising application of Laplace's equation to music. Because suppose you have the following object. Once again, surprising application to music. So suppose omega is some region. Omega is some region. That's in R2. Which in a practice, you can think of it as the surface of a drum. So think of it as a surface of a drum. Of a drum. And now consider the following PDE, which is sometimes called an eigenvalue problem. So now consider the problem. So minus Laplace of u, the minus is for convenience, equals lambda u on or inside the region omega and u equals zero on the boundary. So inside the region, u solves the PDE minus Laplace is some multiple of u and on the boundary, u is zero. And 
In particular, compare this to the eigenvalue problems that we talked about. So compare this. This two. Let's say y double prime equals lambda y, or I think I used x as well. So x double prime equals lambda x. So it's the same problem, but with the minus. Now, what does it have to do with music? So you have to understand, for most values of lambda, this just gives us the zero solution, but there's a very interesting sequence that actually gives us interesting solutions. And that sequence is literally the tones that you hear when you play the drum. So if when you do something like that, then the sounds you hear are those specific eigenvalues. So let me elaborate. So here's a fact that, again, we won't prove, but it's proven in upper level PDE classes. So there is a sequence as follows. So the first eigenvalue is positive, and then the other eigenvalues are increasing. So kind of like that. This is zero, this is lambda one, lambda two, and again, some of them might be equal, such that the previous problem has a non-zero solution. If you take minus Laplace of u equals either one of those eigenvalues, so lambda and u on the region and u equals zero on the boundary has a non-zero solution. So, now, why is this important? So this first eigenvalue in applications, it's called the principal harmonic. which is literally the first sound that you hear or the main sound that you hear when you play the drum. So when you play the drum and you hear the do do dum, that's kind of the sounds that you hear. And the other ones, they're sort of the accompaniment and those are called the overtones. So whenever you play a musical instrument, the main sound that you hear is this lambda one, the other ones are the lambda two, lambda three, etc. Which now leads me to a very, very, very famous question posed by Mark Katz, which is, can you hear the shape of the drum? In other words, if you hear those eigenvalues, can you tell me what omega is? And that is super, super interesting. So once again, super famous question by Mark Katz. So can you hear the shape of a drum? A drum. In other words, if you hear the eigenvalues, or if you know lambda one, lambda two, da, 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 can you tell me what omega is? What omega is? Or think of it in terms of real life, if your friend goes to another room and plays a drum and you can only hear the sounds, can you tell me what the drum looks like? Now, it turns out the answer to this question is yes. So it depends because the answer is yes in 2D if the instrument is smooth. So if omega is smooth, 
smooth meaning no corners. If it has corners, the answer is no. No in 2D if omega has corners. In fact, I want to draw you two instruments with the same sound, which is very cool. So, here are again two instruments with the same sound. One looks a bit like Texas, I would say. So this is one instrument. And the other one is a bit more like origami. So those two shapes, even though they're not the same, they play the same sound. And last but not least, what do you think the answer is in higher dimensions? So it turns out in higher dimensions, the answer is still no in three plus dimensions, even if omega is smooth. Because it turns out there are, I kid you not, two 16-dimensional donuts that are not the same, but that make the same sounds. So, 16-dimensional uh, donut or torus counterexample. Can you imagine we have to go to 16th dimension to find a counterexample? But I think that is super, super cool. Now, here were three applications of Laplace. There are two more, which are so exciting that I saved them for another video. So, you know, be excited for that. All right, I hope you liked this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.